Hey Google, let's party. It's an automatic motorized disco ball that responds to a voice command. <laughs> I'm Jess, I'm the founder of Scallion Pancake, and welcome to my Greenpoint home. So I live in a loft building in Greenpoint, so it's a bit of an unusual setup. The one thing to know about the apartment is like everything is furnished secondhand. You don't need to buy anything new living in New York. There are so many people coming and going. So you will always find what you want just by browsing on Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist. So this guy was $50 and I carried it just like through the streets by myself. And this old lady stopped me and she was like, that's an ugly painting. And I was like, thanks for your opinion, love New York. So I just love finding all these weird, cheap things that just somehow fit this place perfectly. This is from my old apartment. These are NASA posters that they commissioned with an artist. So each painting is meant to represent a tourism poster from the future and it has little taglines and everything as if it was marketing a future tourism destination which I just really love. They're actually all free to download so you download them yourself, buy some cheap frames and you can actually just create an entire feature wall for like a hundred bucks. Um, this dining table was $400 from Craigslist. It's reclaimed wood and it is a custom built dining table, which is one of the favorite things I've ever found and also a great example as to like buying something super expensive doesn't need to be expensive and you can still get something that fits your space perfectly. And all these little knickknacks are all vintage or gifted or secondhand. Um, this is, we, we moved in and this structure was already here, so we, I wasn't in love with all the open shelving because you can only do so much display before it feels really cluttered. But for me personally, I'm just a fan of like organized chaos and I just don't love minimalism and that's just not who I am. So, um, and everything's just little knickknacks from places we've been or things that we love. Like these are actually vintage weights which is one of my favorite objects. So they're four pounds each and they are actually functional. So I use these when I work out. And then this is actually something that's new. I found this at an antique store upstate. This is a carafe. So you can actually put drinks in here and it comes with all these little fish minions that you can take shots out of. So it's just like the most strange set of shot glasses I've ever seen. So I had to have it. So this is the kitchen, again, very open shelving. I think it would look very different if we were some people who didn't have like coffee machines and air fryers and cast iron pans, but I'm perfectly fine to like live amongst the mess. We try to keep it semi-organized. It is, I don't think it's like the best kitchen. There's obviously like very old appliances that haven't been switched out. But a few of my friends are chefs and I've, I've sought out their validation because they've come and cooked in the kitchen. They said it was perfectly fine. So I think it's totally okay. Um, but yeah, it's pretty functional and bare bones. I wouldn't say there's anything particularly special about it, but I do love how easily accessed all the glassware and the plates and everything are when people come over. It's just really easy to grab stuff without needing to like, there's not much you can hide anything. Like it's pretty clear where everything is. So this is our bedroom. Um, it's quite small, but I like that it only really fits a bed so that I don't have to you know, sit in here or do anything. I try to demarcate the spaces so that we're only really here to sleep essentially. Um, but it's, <laughs> this part I don't love. This is built in, but I think it gives it character. And these doors completely slide closed, but there's not much soundproofing, so it's very hard to like live with somebody else here or if I have a party and I'm trying to go to bed, I usually just have to wear earplugs and hope that no one disturbs me. This is Ghost, um, who is constantly just like sitting in the sun and she basically lives here just as much as we do. We kind of have to orient ourselves around her because she's a rescue dog and she's on Prozac. So she's just very easily heightened and anxious, but we love her all the same because you know, life would be boring with like a fun, normal dog. So I love her a lot, but she can be a little bit anxious and it's something that we've had to learn how to live with. 
But I love our bedroom, it gets a lot of direct, nice natural light, and it's just a bit of a, like a calming, little relaxing spot to hang. Uh, this is the back storage area. I kind of like that they've built it so that there are these sliding doors because you can completely close it off if you're hungover and like just need to get some sleep. Um, but this area isn't particularly that interesting. We keep our clothes here. There was no storage when we came into this place. So we had to build out and like buy a lot of different furniture. Um, this is also where a lot of our plants live because it's the most direct sunlight. And a lot of these plants were also just like found on the street. So they're all just here, chilling, happy. This is my extension of my closet, which is the bane of my boyfriend's life because he actually works right there. Um, and this is my favorite plant right now which I've never seen a plant that's pink before. I think I got him from Facebook Marketplace for like $20. The big mama is over here. But I usually like keep all the propagated plants up here because it gets the most direct sunlight. And then once they grow enough roots, I usually transfer them to more of a soil home. So what's your favorite piece in your closet? Um, okay, so I love, there are a few things. I love this. Yes. Wow. Because it's like a, marabou vintage cropped i don't even know what it is but it makes me feel rich as f when i wear it hey. and then i also love i found this in a thrift store in australia for like 10 bucks and it just makes me feel like i'm my 85 year old future asian granny self so i love that and then hard to choose but the other thing i really love is this nasa wow. jumpsuit <laughs> that I, I wore it on Halloween once, but I actually just do wear it around when I like feel like looking like an astronaut. And then lastly, I'm like a big jumpsuit girl. I found this in Beacon's closet. So someone had like painted all over it and it fits me perfectly. And you just like never see things like this in you. So I always get compliments on this whenever I wear this out. And then just a lot of plants. This is where I think the inter interesting thing with this apartment is you think that there's a lot of light but the way that plants need light and like shaded light and indirect light there are only specific areas in the apartment that can support a lot of plants um, so this is one of them and we work here so it feels really nice just to like look around and see all the greenery but this little guy I just got into a phase where I was obsessively looking up animal plant stands on eBay <laughs> So this one was $25 and I just love how weird he is. And this guy's also my favorite plant. This is my dressing room. So I just have a lot of clothes. My boyfriend doesn't, so I just need the extra storage. And I've tried to make this somewhat more of like my space because I work right here. And I just love to be surrounded by things that feel like me. So a lot of vintage jewelry. This guy is actually made by a blind ceramicist in Mexico that my girlfriend brought back for me and he has this really beautiful story and he creates all these ceramics blind with his wife um, so I just love the, how surreal it is and how upside down his face is this is a shrink wrapped copy of Dirty Dancing on VHS I found on the street I just love it my boyfriend does not and then this is a vintage Nike poster from eBay that says there is no finish line I am obsessive about powerlifting I have a very like bro -y side to me so I just love the weights and the imagery and the message because this is also where I work. That's the dressing room. So this is my favorite space in the apartment by far. We've worked really hard on this. It's been very collaborative as well. There's probably been like 15 people involved in moving things around. We redesigned it just to be a real conversational space because for me, like being in New York, it was really hard to make friends for the first like four or five years. I feel like no one talks about how lonely it is. So now to actually have friends that I love and who are my people, being able to bring them into the space to like treat them with like a really quiet zen space that we can have conversation feels really important. Um, this is the bane of our lives. This is a mirror that I got off liveauctioneers.com, which with my personality, I should not be allowed to go on auction websites because I was on set and my boyfriend and I agreed that we would spend $350 max on this. And I started outbidding the other person out of spite because I had 
built this mirror up to be this like crazy piece I was gonna own. It ended up going to like $900 and I've never ever, like everything in this apartment, like this is this whole couch was $400. I think I like blacked out and I was like, I'm gonna teach them a lesson. I'm gonna bid them so they have to pay more money. And then I bid it and then it goes, Jess Tran won the auction. And that's not including 25% in like bidder's fees, the shipping and the taxes and the fees made it a $1,400 mirror, which the second I realized that, like the way my heart dropped and knowing I had to come home to talk to my boyfriend who I just outbid our budget by four times was just one of the worst feelings. But since then I've tried to just lean into the fact that I've like never been able to afford something like this. And it's such a beautiful antique piece. It was paint, hand painted in the 90s. And I think it just suits the space really, really well. So. We've gotten over the mistake and now I'm never allowed to be on an auction website by myself ever again. Um, lots of lots and lots and lots of plants. My boyfriend and I are big plant people. Um, I just love being able to like wake up and take care of something that's not me. I think the self-efficacy you feel to be able to keep plants alive, especially as someone who used to kill any plant I touched is just an incredible like feat of like discipline for us. So we have a lot of hanging plants because the ceiling is an old factory ceiling. So there's a lot of like different places you can hang things. These are actually Olympic rings that you can unfurl and do dips and pull ups and stuff like that, which is great. This chair, I was in an election panic purchase. I was very stressed out during election week because I worked for a nonprofit. They were one of my clients and I was doing campaigns around getting the vote out. Um, and I just cared a lot about the election. So buying this was my way of like trying to calm myself down. There's a shop across the road called Feng Sui. So I literally walked out my door, saw this chair and was like, I'm so stressed out, I'm just gonna buy it. No one had faith in me. All my friends were like, it's an outdoor chair, it's not gonna work. Everyone loves it now. It is the most comfy chair in the apartment. And then this footstool is actually handmade by female artisans in Turkey. I actually brought it in my carry-on back from Turkey on a work trip I was on. So I'm actually even surprised I was able to bring it on a plane. Um, more plants everywhere. This guy was like a hundred bucks from Craigslist. This is also from Feng Sui. And actually this is one of my favorite pieces. It's a handmade ceramic pot from Mexico City that we got while we were traveling there. And then my friend Lavina bought me these antique little like tea sets, which we put, um, it's actually just dripping water everywhere because I just watered this, but it's got a little cutting in it, which I really love. And then this is, I don't even know what this is. We just have a lot of different knickknacks that I've tried to like put in a cohesive way. So I actually meditate right here in front of all the plants. Um, this meditation cushion was also secondhand. And this ghost usually sits next to me while I meditate. But a lot of just like random knickknacks from all over the place. And I'm just really proud of what it looks like because it feels really relaxed and colorful and happy and dynamic, which is hopefully like how I am as a person. So this is living room one, but we actually have two living rooms. So the camera guy is actually in the second living room right now, which you can see. It's always also so fun to have people over and you can actually have people sitting on the edge and on the edge here and you can have a full conversation from across the entire apartment, which is pretty amazing. So this that was most of the apartment, but then most people miss how to get up here, which is one of the most unique parts of this apartment, I think, to have a little hideaway nook, so we're gonna go up there. So this is what we call the cubby. In winter, it's really, really cozy. When I need to escape and do something private, like be on a therapy call, I can close this off. And then it's really the only room in the apartment where you can be visually away from everything. So we put these curtains in. Um, and then this is just like, I tried to keep this a little bit of a different style than the rest of the apartment because everything's all very colorful. So again, Craigslist find, Craigslist pillows. This is really, really cool though. It's, um, it's actually 3D printed from corn, materials made from corn. So I think it's biodegradable. It's made by this guy called Sean who is in Brooklyn and they're all 3D printed in his studio. And he just has a lot of thoughtful things that he thinks about around like production, 
distribution and how to make a truly sustainable product. Um, it's called the Wavy Lamp by Wooj. I really love it. But the best thing about this little cubby is, I think, the view, which is phenomenal. This is where the bathroom is. A lot of people ask me if we have a shower. We do. It's a very simple New York bathroom. Nothing to write home about, but it's functional and it's small. So that's that. And that's it. That's the entire apartment. So. Well, Jess, thank you so much for letting us tour your apartment. Oh my God, of course. It's a delight. What's your favorite part of this apartment? Okay. Hey Google, let's party. It's a automatic motorized disco ball that responds to a voice command. <laughs> That's so, so fun. It's my favorite party trick. And at the end of the night, you can say, hey Google, party's over. And she shuts herself off. Nice. All right. Why Greenpoint? Um, I never really considered Greenpoint because it was really far away from public transportation, like all the normal reasons. We were shown our old apartment from a broker and honestly, with a dog and with this community, I know when I walk out the door, I, sometimes it's a bad thing, I cannot walk out the door without bumping into like 10 neighbors. And that's because we went to the dog park every day for three to four years as an off-leash time at McCarran Park. So you end up knowing like, families and random people. So I know probably, I think I would know like between 40 to 50 people who just live in this neighborhood who are friendly. And I just love the idea of being able to live somewhere where people know me, I feel safe. I feel like I connect with the like actual personality of the neighborhood beyond just people like me who move here. And like, I don't want to have friends who are just other 20 something year olds. I really love the diversity of New York. So for me, Greenpoint just feels like home because of how many neighbors I know around here. All right, Jess, last question. Where is one of your go-to spots in Greenpoint? Feng Shui. Half the furniture in this apartment is from there. It helps, it's across the road, but I am obsessed with all the plants they sell and the different vintage clothing and furniture they sell. We should go check it out. Yeah, let's, let's do go. it. Let's do right. it. So half my apartment I have bought from this store, Feng Shui. So if you're ever in the neighborhood, you should definitely come for like plants, and vintage furniture, and it's just the best vibe. That's my Greenpoint apartment and this is my go-to spot in the neighborhood. You can find me at Jess Glistening on Instagram or just walking around Greenpoint with ghosts.